Albert and Sarah, we thought we'd put a man and a woman together to do a dance, so while you're watching the tape, you can see how, what the difference is between a man and a woman, and so you'll notice, although Sarah's moving her feet, she's not stomping in where Albert is. And as you, if you look carefully, Albert is not making the same kind of motions that the other men dancers in this film has done. But it doesn't really matter if it's just a song and dance. You make up your own motion. You can uh, get right down close to the floor and, floor and dance. But it's the sound of the drum. Always remember the beat of the drum. You have to keep time with that beat. one of my favorites. It's a song and dance made up many years ago by a man going out on the ocean to set a seal net. And he's made a seal net for himself and as he's going out he's making up this song and singing it because in the small community where he's staying they have no meat. So he's going along walking out and then he says it's a good place to set a net. So he chisels a hole through the ice first, then he scoops all the slush out, and he sets his net. And then he walks around for a while, and he comes back, and he looks at his net, and he's caught a seal. And then he says how happy everybody will be back at the camp, because he has fresh meat. And then when he turns around and starts walking, that means he's taking his seal home and it's done by Alec Gordon. to watch his feet and his motions. Uh, sometimes you don't, maybe you'll watch different dancers dance, maybe you can take parts of different motions. But it's also really important when people are watching the dance, 
is uh, the head movement is also very important. If you listen to the drum beat and move your head and feet in sort of the same fashion so that you're keeping time with the drum. and dance, although that it was made up many years ago, we've made a few changes in it, and uh, Alec Gordon and Kathleen Hansen are doing this dance. And uh, when they first come out, they say that we are going to come out on the floor to dance. There's a little bit of Eskimo drum dancing in this, and there's also a little bit of square dancing and jigging. Uh, and this is one of the thing, dances we, when we used to travel in the early 60s or in mid 60s, that we like to call this song, I Want to Dance, because there's a little bit of a mixture in the dance. And I think the song, if you listen to the song carefully, there's, uh, in these kinds of songs, it has words in the song and you have to know the song in order to be able to come out and do the right thing at the right time where they say we're coming out to the floor to dance. And then when they say Mumma means I want to dance, that's when they do their jig. So that's how you have to be able to know what time to do these things. And Hopefully this is something that we can come back to you sometimes and, and have a program where we can come to you and teach you more of these kinds of dances. dancers are always following the beat of the drum. They're, they're singing a song, but the beat of the drum is very important to listen to. And as I mentioned earlier, the women don't stomp their feet, but they move their feet around a bit just so that they don't stand in the same place. But as you'll notice, the men, when they dance, they stomp their feet. And some people only stomp one foot, some people use both sides. But uh, when they stomp their feet, they keep time with the drum, with the drum beat. And as you'll notice when these men are dancing and the women, that they know exactly when to stop because they know the songs. And it would be a really good idea if you're learning how to dance is to also try and learn the songs as well as you go along. <laughs> 